when you when the decision's made that you want to move to another supplier, heaven forbid, what what is the proper procedure uh, to tell you? I know I have to give thirty days notice, uh, but I want to take my number with me. Um, what's the best way to handle that? Okay, so when you let's say move to a different provider. The standard procedure is you still need to call us because we just need to set up a port out uh, feature on your account. Okay. Um, doesn't have to be 30 days because we're still going to have to keep the line active. So we're not going to be setting up any cancellation. The reason why, because automatically when the other company takes over the number, yep. they will automatically suspend your account for 30 days. And on the uh, 30th day, your account becomes canceled. So it's all automatically done by the system the day you port out your number. So you need to let us know that you're just porting out the number. Okay. So so to give my 30 days notice, I would call in... Um, you wouldn't be giving us 30 days. I, I don't give you 30 days notice? No, we don't need 30 days notice when you port out the line because the minute you go to the... Let's say you go to Telus or Rogers. You tell them, take my number. I want to be with you guys. They take your number. The same day they take your number away from us, your account on our side gets suspended oh. for 30 days. Okay. On the 30th day, automatically it becomes canceled. So it's all automatically done because right. we cannot suspend your line for 30 days, let's say, um, when you give us 30 days notice. Okay. The reason why, because you still want to take your number to a different provider. So we okay. have to keep it active as nothing happened. All right. For that reason, we just set up a feature that allows you to do that. And that's pretty much it. Okay. Because I, I remember a while back talking to somebody, uh, well, it wasn't that far back, um, who said that there's a special feature in your system for putting in a notation that the person intends to port uh, in the future yeah. 30 days out. And then when that um, port comes through, that served as the 30 days notice so that they're not charged uh, twice for the same month. You won't be billed twice for the same month. What you're going to be built is... Um, when you call in, let's say, and tell us, you know what, I'm most likely going to be porting out my line. Mm -hmm. What we do, we set up a feature, like the previous representative told you, we set up a special feature on your account that allows you to take your number away. Okay. When you speak to another company, what they do, they take the number away. The minute that they take the number away, it records in the system as you have pretty much uh, set up 30 days cancellation. So it's the same day that you take the number away from us, that would be counted as the 30th day cancellation. The, it, that, that, that counts as the 30th day? That counts as you have set up a request to cancel. Okay. So that's the day that we're going to be setting up the 30 day notification that for cancellation to be done. Okay, um, so, if, so I, if I started this on... Um, January 1st, and I and I called in and said on January I'm I'm given 30 days notice on January 31st I'm going to port the account out I'm going to port my number out uh, you f you flag my account saying that he intends to port out on January 31st and then on January 31st Rogers takes the number over and uh, I only have to pay you up till the 31st is that correct No No. So we don't need to receive the call from you, let's say, I want to set up cancellation right now. Mm -hmm. Because when we set up cancellation, the other company will not be able to take your number. Okay. So we actually don't need, you don't need to give us 30 days. Yes, you will be built one month, uh, one month, I would say, for 30 days, even if you don't have the number with us, because the line is becoming suspended after removing the number. What okay. pretty much happens every time, if you want to be porting out your number, we don't need 30 days notification from you because the system will automatically set it on the day that you take the number away. Okay. If you don't want to take your number with you, if you want to have a totally different number, then we would request 30 days to be set on your account. So yes, okay. you need to call us and let us know. But if you need to port out your line, you would have to just let us know that you're porting out. We would set up a pretty much allow a feature that would allow you to port out your number and that's it okay so split up 30 days. so again using the january 1st if, if january 1st i know i'm going to um leave at the end of the month um because that's convenient for me i don't call you um and, and then on the 30th i go to, or 31st i go to rogers and i say port my number over they do it you suspend my account and then i have to pay for 30 days into i guess into february 
Is that correct? Until February, at the end of February. Okay, so so, so if I'm with them in February, I end up paying uh, double for the one month. You end up paying for your account with Bell and your account with Rogers. Doubled up for the same month. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Okay, and you're sure there's no way around that? Not so far as I know. Okay. No. Because I had another Bell CSR, I mean the same telephone number I just called, and they said there's a special feature in the system where you can give notice that in 30 days you want a port so that when the port comes through, um, they do everything like a normal port, but they don't charge you the 30 so days. Let me, uh, let's do this. I'm going to open up your account, your cell phone number. Well, I've already, done, I've already done it on the one phone. I just, I'm, I'm, okay. I'm wanting to know. What I should do That's for the next the procedure that every customer I know does. Okay. That's the procedure of what I told you about. Right. You might if you want another opinion, then I would have to transfer to client solutions department. They would be able to give you another opinion okay. if there is. Well, the other operator was quite adamant that that's how she was trained. She's been there for years, and that's what she's done. Um, have you been there a long time as well? Yeah. Yeah. Okay. I've been here for three years. Three years. Yeah. All right. And they and they and they when they trained you, they said this is the best way to do it. This is the only way to do the it. The only way. Yes. To and my understanding, this is the only way to do it. But like I said, okay. if you want another opinion, I will need to open up your account number. Oh, no, no, I've got another line. No, I've got another opinion from the other operator. That's fine. I um, I guess I'm just, uh, I'll think about it, why there's two different procedures. I, mm-hmm. uh, I guess when I call well, in, I hope I get the other lady. <laughs> well, we have about a 1,000 employees, so you would not be able to get the other lady. No, no, I know I wouldn't ask. Let's say if straighten it out. <laughs> I would suggest to do it right now. Might as well. That's okay. And I I I've taken enough of your time. I appreciate it. I've got my answer. Okay. Thank you very Is much. There any other questions you have? Not a one. Thank you.